To bring people to Jesus Christ and membership in his family. To develop them to Christ-like maturity, equip them for their ministry in the church and their mission in the world in order to magnify God. Sunday morning. Matthew 28 and 6 says this. He is not here. He has risen. Just as he said, come see the place where he lay. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, he has risen. He's not there. Come on, tell him, say, he's risen. Just like he said he would. Come on, tell him again. He got up. Jesus, the most important person 
is here, if that's you, then God, we say thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, right now, God, we empty ourselves to you so that you can fill us up on today right now in the name of Jesus. So, God, right now, we ask that you would have your way. Do what you want to do. Save and deliver right now in the name of Jesus. Somebody here today, God, needs you to touch them one more time. And so right now in the name of Jesus, we ask, oh God, that you would touch now in the name of Jesus. Make whole now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, right now in the name of Jesus, we pray for salvation. Somebody in here don't know you as their Savior. Right now in the name of Jesus, we pray, oh God, for your saving power. Save now, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, open up the hearts of your people. Right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, come in now. Right now in the name of Jesus. Step in, God. Right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, interrupt God, our program God, and have your way right now in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you for your sacrifice. God, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus. God, now, God, now, God, now, have your way right now in Jesus' name. Move who you want to move right now, oh God. Do what you want to do in the name of Jesus. God, we empty out. Fill us in God. Right now, oh God, that we can overflow right now in Jesus' name. God, we thank you now. God, we pray for the sick. We pray for the shut-in. Oh God, we pray for those that are grieving right now. Oh God, step into their situation and make everything wrong right. God, I know you to be a mind regulator. God, give us clear thought, oh God. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we got to understand that it's not about us, but it's all about you. And God, we're going to give you what you deserve. Right now, in Jesus' name, we pray. And we thank you for it now. Clap your hands and tell God thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Our youth department is coming at this time. Amen. Say amen as they come. Whether we say Happy Easter Sunday or Happy Resurrection Sunday, it doesn't really matter. What matters, you might ask, action. We all know the story well. He was betrayed, arrested. They refused to release him over another prisoner, nailed him to a cross, spit on him, and mocked and beat him. He suffered all of this for me. He stayed on a cross for me. Jesus died for me, placed in a tomb for me. And the best news, he got up for me. Yes. All of this because he loves me. Love is an action word. And action is defined as something done or performed or accomplished. You see, Jesus predicted his death. 
Jesus says in Luke 9, verses 22, it is necessary that the Son of Man suffer many things and be rejected by the elders, chief priests, and scribes, be killed, and be raised on the third day. So again, whether we say Happy Easter or Happy Resurrection doesn't matter. What matters is the gospel. What matters is Christ's love for me. What matters, he rose. And one day, because we chose to believe this gospel, accepted Christ as our Lord, yeah. Lord and Savior, yeah. we too will defeat death. And the scripture says, death, where is your victory? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was for me, Jesus Christ died. So that I can live, he was crucified. Yeah. Jesus was so innocent, y'all. Come on. He knew no sin. Yeah. But yet, he died for our sin for me. Right. It was for me. All right. Jesus paid the price. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell it. <laughs> he became the ultimate sacrifice. Yeah. Who <laughs> the death on, of his loved one? <laughs> Who? Will offer his only son. <laughs> yeah, it was for love God gave his all to restore mankind after the fall. The debt was huge and the price high, therefore, an innocent man had to die. Yeah. That's it. That's it. God, could I find no one else to, to qualify to pay the debt for you and I? Because he found sin in one and all. Only Jesus can answer the call. Yeah! Yeah! So out of his endless love for men, God unfolded his perfect plan. Jesus said, I'll give my life for men. God said, I'll raise you up again. Yeah! And through the death of Jesus Christ, we all have access to eternal life. From east to west, in all directions, we give thanks for the resurrection.
know what real love looks like. Come on, give a praise. Come on, give anybody pray for that. That's not how the story ends. I'm so excited about the risen Savior. Amen. Amen, amen. I'm so excited that we can worship freely. Amen. Amen. The risen Savior. Amen. church we empower people to live new and improved amen amen just want to remind you of our weekly announcements every thursday at 7 p.m we are in our bible study word of empowerment amen that's via facebook live um via youtube live amen and we just ask as always please share the service invite somebody to be a part of our bible study amen amen because honestly that's that's the most important thing a study in the word of That's God right. so we know how to walk out this life yeah. um, that the Lord has given us. Amen. Amen. So again, I just encourage you to tune in every Thursday at 7 p.m. via Facebook or YouTube live. Amen. 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 We have some other announcements there on my phone, which is sitting out there. Um, and But we'll remind you of the group that we have, our Zumba that's coming up. Um, we're springing into fitness next month. Yeah, yeah. We'll be giving you on the Zumba class right on that Saturday, April the 19th. And then we will be in our Daughters of Destiny session. Yeah. Woo! I'm so excited about that. On April the 27th, that's a Saturday from 12 to 3 o'clock. So we're asking that you please invite somebody, invite a young lady, 12 ages, 12 and up, to be a part of that service. And then for the, the Zumba class, look, Pastor has talked about... Um, being well, holy, that's emotionally in our bodies, in our minds, and our souls. Yeah. So you can come out and be a part of our Zumba class, yeah, amen, yeah. Um, so we can um, be be fit, amen, yeah. for Christ, amen, yeah. amen. So these are your announcements. We'll remind you, and I we ask that you please govern yourselves accordingly. At this time, we're going to prepare to give in the house of the Lord. Yeah. Amen, amen. Yeah. I'm excited. Are you? For our visitors, you are sowing into good ground. Yes, yes. Amen. You are sowing into some fertile ground. And every seed that you sow, you will reap a harvest. Amen. That's the word. The word the word tells us that. Amen. If this is your week that you received any increase, then we know that we are a tithing church. We tithe 10% back to the Lord. Amen. Give it to us. Amen. I, I really want to get out of the habit. I see people saying all the time that we pay our tithes. I, I pay a bill. I pay a bill, I pay a light bill, I pay a gas bill, but I give because I have the mindset that I'm going to receive something that's back, right. amen, that's and because you pay your bill so that the lights stay on right. before the Lord you sow in the seed so that you can reap a harvest, that's right. amen, and I promise you that harvest will last you a lifetime if you are obedient and consistent in your giving, amen, amen, amen. amen. If you would like to sow electronically, you can do that through Cash App, the dollar sign, New Nation LR, or you can sow through Givelify, New Nation Church International. If you need an envelope, just slip your hand up, and our gatekeepers will come and meet your need. Amen. As you're preparing in your hearts to give, we just want to cover you. Lord God, we thank you, God, for every family that's represented here, every individual that's represented here. God, every individual that purposed in their heart today that they're going to sow a seed of faith. God, we thank you right now, God, but with that seed, we know that you're going to press it down. God, you're going to multiply so that we can meet the needs of your kingdom. God, and we trust you, God, that you won't forget about us and our efforts, God. Thank you, God, right now, God, that you're making our homes abundant, God. You're giving us favor, God, in the marketplaces, God. We are going to be consistent in our giving this year, God, and we are honoring you, God, with your word, because you said that you will open the windows of heaven, pour out blessings that we will not have room enough to receive, God, and you will repent the vow before I say, God, and we thank you, and you, we trust you, God, with your word. In Jesus' name, we pray, amen. Amen. The officers, they are coming. electronically cash out the dollar sign new nation lr or you can find us on givelify new nation church international amen amen and then while you're sowing our our scripture for this year is zechariah 8 and 12 um, we believe in that we're growing greater so as you plant your seed just to make this one condition i believe my seed will grow well amen if you believe it just fill it with a hand clap of praise Everybody. Is God worthy or not to be praised? Okay, let's try this again. Praise the Lord, everybody. Yes, yes. God, we serve a risen Savior, and He is in this world today. And one of the things
things that we have to be mindful to do. We have to be mindful to obey the God that has saved us. Jesus says that if you love me, you will do what? You will keep my commandments. Uh, listen, if we, if we simply broke that down, it means if you really love God, you're going to do what he asked you to do. Oh, am I right about it here? One of the things that Jesus commanded and commissioned his disciples, those who follow him to do, was to go out to the hedges and the highways and to compel men to come. It is God's desire that his house be full. Brother DJ, I will never again use as a cop out. You know, listen, we don't have a whole lot here today, but you know, the word says that in any two or three, gather in his name. Listen, listen, listen. Look at the neighbor right quick and say, We can do better. Amen. Amen. And somebody shout, We are growing, we are growing. greater. Together. Now, if you believe God like that, I need you to just seal that declaration with a praise. Come on, come on. That is God's desire and will for his people. It's not a question of God's will, it is his desire. Amen. That he have a full house. And listen, it's not about having meat in the seat. Right. Uh, to clarify when we talk like this, it's about making sure that the name of the Lord Jesus is spread to every soul that we can reach. It is our job as those who have been saved, healed, and, to, and delivered to play it forward, to pass it on. Come on, can you say amen? And so we want everybody to be saved. We want everybody to worship God together in the beauty of holiness. And this year we were very intentional about, amen, making sure that we fulfill the great commission of Jesus Christ. And we sat with many of our leadership and we began to try to come up with some imaginative ways, some innovative ways to touch people for the cause of Jesus Christ. And one of the things we dedicated the month of March to is that we would grow our robe. Somebody shout, grow your robe. Amen, amen. And it's not to raise money. As a matter of fact, we want to bless somebody today because we challenged every member. Every member had the opportunity to grow your robe. Amen. And what we gave as an incentive is that we said that if you do a good job, uh -huh. Come on, if you get with the spirit of what we're doing here, listen, we wanted to show you our appreciation, not just by blowing you a kiss. That's a beautiful thing. Amen. Not just by giving you a hug and saying, thank you, you're sure they good. But we wanted to show a tangible appreciation. I'm going to ask after, amen, with this being the last Sunday of this, amen, membership drive, I'm going to ask, amen, that Sister Tammy Lamb would come forward. somebody to Jesus Christ and I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart and from the heart of God thank you but only one person could win All right. and that person is Sister Tammy Lamb and so Co Pastor will you present this I think she's going to really appreciate it getting it from you
and man, it was gonna come up, they was gonna come up, and then but a few of them show, and she won. But guess what? Amen, amen. Uh, we do, March was the jump off, amen. But we're gonna keep this thing going, amen, because amen, it is our responsibility, amen, not to just invite people to come, amen. But our job as disciples is to disciple them, is to get them to come, amen, and give their life to Christ, amen. And so we encourage you to do just what, amen, you we've been commissioned to do, amen, amen. Come on, let's put up our hands together. Let's give it up for Sister Tammy. God bless you. Amen. And while you're clapping your hands, let's receive New Nation praise as they come. Come on, let's say amen for them.
see everybody. And just in case you a first time to the Sunday celebration, let me just tell you what's going on. Jesus said that when you've been forgiven much, you will love much. And what you're witnessing right now is a bunch of people who used to be lost, but now they're found. They used to be blind, but now they see. They were down, but Jesus picked them up. And every chance we get, we will give God the glory because it's really been good to me. Now look at somebody that right to you and say, neighbor, don't worry about it. Nobody gonna push you, but excuse me, because I've got a reason to praise my God. Now come on, clap those hands, I'm keeping your heart, do these things for you. could only do what we could do. But thank God that where, amen, our strength fell short, God's strength kicked in. No wonder Paul said that his strength is made perfect in my weaknesses. And so we thank God, amen, because the strength of God, he is keeping us. Somebody shout, look at a neighbor right quick and say, neighbor. I don't know about you, but it's just good to be kept by the hand of Jesus. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah here. Just look at one no neighbor and say, neighbor, I don't need to mess with your all service, but I just need to testify. I'm not making it on my own strength, but the Lord, who keeps on keeping me. Along every way, he's kicking me. I'm gonna move on because some of y'all ain't happy like me. I don't want to be the only one dancing at the party. But I need to tell you that when I think of the goodness of Jesus, have a flashback to cause a praise break. Because when I think of where he brought me from, when I think of how he kept me, when I think of how he never left me, when I think of how he blocked the, the adversary, when I think about how the weapon was formed, but the weapon formed didn't prosper. When I think about every time that the enemy came in like a flood, but the Lord never up a standing against my enemy, but I think about every time that the devil came to steal, to kill, and to destroy me, God got in the way and set my soul, and when I think about it, I will praise him, because I can pray, I will praise him, because I got enough sense to praise him. Oh, 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 oh,
I want to thank God for the spirit of the Lord that is in this house right now. And when the Lord is here like this, all you got to do is take advantage of your opportunity. When God is stirring the water, all you got to do is step in. When God is in the building, all you need to do is make your request known unto God. But you know what, Brother Ricardo, I found out the other day I was reading when it talked about prayer and supplication. But then it ended the sentence talking about thanksgiving. And the Holy Ghost quickened me. And he said, that's the chief code for prayer. That if you thank him and not just ask him, he'll do it for you. And he'll do it in a hurry. I just wonder if there's anybody in here needing God to do something. I dare you to start thanking him for what you want him to do. I dare you to start praising him for what you know he's able and willing to perform. I dare you to just start praising him like he already did. And it won't be long before God does it for you. And you can go from saying, Lord, do it to saying he did it. need somebody just for about 10 seconds. Huh? If you really need God to do it for you, huh? and you know that only God can do it, huh? use your cheat code. Huh? Why don't you just start praising him huh? for being a miracle worker? Start praising him huh? for being a body healer. Huh? Start praising him huh? for putting your house back together. Start praising him huh? for delivering your children. Start praising him huh? for the new job. Huh? Start praising him huh? for the promotion. Huh? Start praising him huh? for the approval. Stop. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to wait on no y'all. But me and Sanaya got something huh? that we want God to do.
I want you just to seal it in the authority of Jesus Christ. We talked about what he would do. But I need you to go to the next level. Let's go from hope to faith. Somebody went back and shout, it's done! Somebody just to give the 
divine interruption. Well, Mama, you, you said something at the table that's been echoing in my spirit. You said, I've got the faith. I believe God. But my question is, will I ever get better? Man, come walk with me. I want you to pray for a healing while I'm walking with you. Come on, 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 to change your condition. When you get up and start changing your location, like Brian Bartimaeus, Jasmine, when the, he heard that Jesus was passing by, he took off his blind garment, said, I won't be needing this again. And my God, he made his way to Jesus because he knew that he had come one way, but he was going back another way. And I come to tell you, yes, you will get that. Yes, you will walk in complete healing. God said you're not going to leave here on an oxygen tank. You're not going to leave here in an oxygen tent. But God said, I hear I'm about to blow. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a new life, new life, new life, new life, new life. I need somebody with faith. I need you. This is going to sound a little crazy, but I need you to blow in this direction. Thank you. 
destroyed her bones. He destroyed her, her bones, even her structure. This being with you restored her back. Healing in your body. Healing in your spirit. Healing in your bones. Healing in your bones. God for them. May what they receive become double on you. May the Lord increase your strength. May the Lord restore your health. May the Lord cause your steps to be strong again. May the Lord cause your mind to be stronger than ever. May the Lord cause your plan to come true. Oh, may the Lord come hold you with the right hand of his righteousness. Now, if you don't believe it like that, somebody shout, yes, Lord. you've been missing until you see it again and hear it again. And I ain't talking about this church. I ain't talking about listen, it's bigger than church membership. I'm talking about your place next to God. Do you hear me? God said, I miss you. I miss how you used to sing to me. I miss you. I miss the time that you used to give me. I miss you. I miss, I miss the time when I was the most important thing in your world. God said, I miss you. Oh, I 
I hear the Lord say, oh, I miss how you used to praise me. Oh, my God. Oh, but I hear the Lord say, this is what I want you to hear. I'm not mad with you. I still love you. And I'm still going to use you. I'm still going to do what I told you. God said, I made a promise to you 20 years ago. And, and that, that it seemed like it's been a long time coming. But the God that spoke it uh, is faithful. Uh, and watch God do it. My God and I as a son. Uh, that God is going to do everything he said. You're going to get a call this week. I need somebody to shout reconciliation. See, God can put it together when we can't put it together. See, that's why we serve them like we do. Because we understand that there's a power that's higher than us. And God can, he can put relationships back together. Somebody he said, I don't know what's wrong. What I, listen, it ain't nothing you did. It's the devil. But I need to tell you that the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. And what God has put together, let no man put asunder. And I hear the Lord say, the, the prodigal uh, will return. Uh, the prodigal uh, will return. Uh, now somebody begin to give praise God. Come on, praise God. Uh, and put your family back together. Praise God.
why I can only come up here once a year, because every time I come, child, well, child, come on. Come on, put your hands together and thank God for it. said only you, only you, only you will do, only you. Oh, and I hear you say, Lord, I, I want to. My heart is there, but I don't know if I got anything left. I don't know. I just don't know if I have anything left to give, but I hear the Lord say, I restore your soul. God said, I'm restoring your soul. And God said, not only will I restore, that's where it's going to begin. Because you're going to have joy like you never had before. Steph, I hear you laughing. There was a laughter that you used to have when your children were at home. That you hadn't had 
since they left, but God said, I'm about to be your joy all over again. Oh, my God, and your creative mind. God is touching it again. He's touching it afresh because there's a new door that's about to come open for you. I see you before. A troop again. Yeah, this is different. And you know, I don't go with all that crazy stuff that folks be doing and all that. But when you are a pioneer, God honors that. God does not forget our labor of love. And God said, you're a pioneer, you're a trailblazer. God said, I'm not through with you yet. Because you're going to dance again, you're going to teach again, you're going to lead again. Thus said the Lord, thus said the Lord, thus said the Lord. That's all I need to say. I'm done. Come on, somebody put those hands together and give God praise. call of God that's on your life. My God, my God. Even, even what I'm doing today, you could have got up and just ran up out of here because I've seen folk do it because they, they get spooked by this kind of stuff. Hey, man, I'm out. But something about it intrigues you and is familiar to you. And God said, because I'm going to use you in a very unique way. It's a very dynamic way. Elisha. You know who that is? Yeah. You know, Elisha was tutored by Elijah. But when Elijah was about to go off the scene, he asked his apprentice, what, what can I do for you before I go? He said, I want a double portion of your spirit. He said, what? You're asking a hard thing. But if you see me when I go up, you're going to get what you said. And the man of God tried to shake Elisha. Tried to shake him. Tried to get away from him. But he couldn't get away. Because he wasn't going to leave without his double portion. And God said that a double portion. Oh my God. I need something to put on his shoulders. I need what I see. Put that put around his shoulders. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. On this Resurrection Sunday, God is pulling you out of your grave. On this Resurrection Sunday, God is calling you alive again. There was a time that you were so close to God that he even spoke to you in your sleep. Oh, scriptures would come alive to you. Oh, there were times that, that God would show you things that almost scared you. Oh, and somehow you kind of got away from it because of some disappointments that you had in some people that you were looking up to. But I hear the Lord say, I didn't let you down. And I won't let you down. And I hear the Lord saying that if you take your eyes off of people and put your eyes back on me, God said, I'm going to use you again. I'm going to raise you again. And I see, I see a whole crew. I see a whole crew following behind you. You're going to have influence. Y'all know that term, influencer? That's what God has anointed him to do and to be. Throw up your hands. This is your day of coming forth. Thank you, thank you. This is your day of coming forth. I've got to anoint you afresh. I've got to anoint you afresh. 
yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. I, I just need you to participate in your own deliverance. Open up your mouth and shout, Lord, I'm ready. Lord, I'm ready. Lord, I'm ready. Lord, come on, one more time, shout, Lord, I'm ready. Now, if you believe it, I need somebody to rest your hands for us. Still in there? She said, Yes, yeah, she's doing good. And so I said, Okay, I had a dream that Taylor was in labor. And so, first natural, I thought uh -huh. it was Tierra. But as I was sitting over here, yeah, she out there. As I was sitting over there, yeah, she out there. I heard the Lord say, yeah, she out there, that, in your side, that I'm birthing the Holy Ghost through the young people. Yeah, my, my, my son, da, 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 da. Yeah, don't you, how y'all can see, once I realized that the baby wasn't coming, I started rebuking any traps that the enemy would have set for Tay. She only 13. And I was like, devil, you a lie. And so God said, no, 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 it's like it's spiritual. I'm finna birth the Holy Ghost. I'm finna birth, amen, the power of the Holy Ghost is gonna follow my young people. Y'all my, my son. 
trying to fit in. God said, I'm not going to let you fit in. Honey, hey, because you're not like them. Yeah, my mama, like, yeah, see, here, I'm not outside. But I heard the Lord said, hey, you got to be confident in who God made you. You understand? You understand? I know you're not the same. You're not like people. God said, I made you that way. Yeah, my mama, my mama, my mama, And you're hurting yourself by trying to fit in. Yeah, my mama, my mama, my mama, You're doing things and you're compromising yourself trying to do things that you think people do will like you because of. But I hear the Lord say, it's never going to work. Yeah, my, 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 my side. I want you to keep saying, Holy Ghost, fall on me. Come on.
They got to see you fasting and praying sometime. Are you listening? And so we believe in God for a Holy Ghost filled youth department. Yes. And in the name of Jesus. Not going to be just doing speeches, but we're going to teach them how to live right. In the name of Jesus, we're going to teach them how to pray before a test and watch God work miracles. In the name of Jesus, young people, throw your hands up. Shall I receive the power of the Holy Ghost? In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Go back to your seats. Give God glory. traditional flow but where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty he's free to do what he wants to do and thank God he gives us the liberty to be free in him not free to be me but free to live move and have my being in him Somebody put those hands together and give God great praise. Well, this is that that was spoken of the prophet Joel that in the last days I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Old men shall dream dreams. Young men shall have visions. And I will cause even my spirit to flow upon the handmaids and they shall prophesy. This is that. Everybody standing to your feet. We've come to celebrate a risen Savior and we want to extend an opportunity for Jesus to live in your life. With all of the rejoicing, with all of the praying, healing and deliverance that is going forth in this house on today, we would be remiss if we did not give you an opportunity to know Jesus. So that we miss no one, I'm going to ask that everyone would just close your eyes bow your heads, pray this prayer with me. Say, Father, we all have sinned. We've come short of your glory. But we believe that you sent Jesus to die for our sins. And we believe that on the third day, Jesus rose from the dead. And we have a hope for eternity. Save me, Lord. Forgive me of my sins. I can't live a saved life without your strength. Strengthen me, Lord. Save me again. Restore my life. And I'll follow you. I'll serve you the rest of my life. Now, if you prayed that prayer today, God heard you. Not only did he hear you, he received you into the family of God. Now there's only one thing left for us to do. Let's bless the Lord because it's so good to be saved. Oh, hallelujah. I bless him. Life now was sweet and my joy is complete because I'm, I'm saved. Now we get ready to leave this place not the presence of the Lord. Yeah. Don't let the devil steal what you've received from today. Yeah. Protect it, guard it, because the devil's going to come for you. Don't be surprised when 
understand that the greater is he that is within you than he that is in all of the world. Father, I pray now in the name of Jesus, God, that you would keep these in your care. Father, I pray a, a, a hedge of protection be around their lives, keeping them along the way. Father, we pray, O oh God, that you would seal unto the day of redemption those things that you have sold in our lives on today. We thank you for saving souls. We thank you for filling us with the Holy Ghost. We thank you for healing. We thank you for your presence. And until we shall meet again, may the grace of God and the sweet communion of the Holy One let it rest rule and abide with us from this day forth. And let those that agree shall eat his soul. God bless you. You're dismissed in Jesus' name.